Welcome to Superior Profit tutorial on how to use the Hopon template. In this tutorial, we will describe Hopon template. Hopon template has multiple indicators or tools as we call them. We will go through each of them and understand how they help us trade profitably and efficiently. If you have seen our tutorial on Sonar, you know that we use Sonar to shortlist our potential trades. Once we have shortlisted symbols, we view them through hop-on template and decide whether to take long, short or stand aside. Hop-on makes it really easy to see what is going on in the chart. There is no confusing convergence divergence, no reading of value or value range of the indicators. The entire template is designed with consistent color coding. Green is bullish, red is bearish, yellow is neutral. Hopon is ready to use. There is no need to spend hours to find that elusive perfect setting of the parameters. In fact, there is no parameter to be set. Instead, when required, we have created separate templates. For example, Hopon for India market is different from hop on for USA market. The charts look same. Internally, superior profit takes care of the differences inherent in those stock markets. hop on is designed for daily or weekly chart. It can be run on end of day data as well as on real time data. There are a wealth of signals on hop on. However, once you go through this tutorial, you will be able to interpret them in 10 seconds or less. Superior profit traders do that every day and they do it without second thought. Let us see how they do that by opening a live chart. This is TTM Tata Motors, a stock from NYSE, seen using Hopon template. There are many signals. We'll go through all the signals one by one and see how they are used for swing trading at last few days to few weeks. Once you understand that, you will be able to use them for longer term trades. Let's first look at the price candles, direction lines and boundary lines on the upper panel. More than 70% of superior profit community's trades are trend following go with flow trades. How do we identify trend? One way we identify trend is reading the wave pattern of the price candles. In an uptrend, price candles make higher high and higher low. And in downtrend, it makes lower high and lower low. Sometimes the stock may move wildly. It may move to a higher price, making a new high only to drop enough to make a deeper low. We stand aside during such wild moves. Some other times the stock may move indecisively. It may move sideways in rectangular range or it may make a triangle pattern. In both of these cases there is no clear trend. We patiently wait for price to break out of these range bound patterns before taking a new trade. Candle waves are not the only tools we use to decide trend. Direction lines provide further confirmation of the trend. If both the magenta color first direction line and the cyan color standard direction line are moving together, that identifies the trend. In uptrend, they both move upward and in downtrend, they both move downward. If they move in opposite direction, there is no clear trend. You can see two more direction lines, yellow color slow direction and white color very slow direction lines. They are used to see longer term trend of the stock. Once we know the trade direction, we also need to know where to take profit. Boundary lines help with that. Boundary lines are the pair of lines surrounding the price candles. You will notice that price rarely moves beyond them. That is why we call them boundary lines. As price tends to stop at boundary lines, 
we like to book profit at those price levels. We use upper boundary as profit target for long trade and lower boundary as profit target for short trade. Boundary also helps to avoid low reward trades. If the price is close to or beyond the boundary lines, it may not move much further, at least for the time being. Potential reward is small and we stand aside from the trade. To maximize our reward, we take go with flow trades when price is in the middle range of the upper and lower boundary lines. We call this region value area. Now let's move on to our next signal on the hop on template, headwind signal. This indicator alerts us if the stock has nearby chance of reversing direction. In the uptrend, headwind tells us if the up move is losing momentum. And it does that before the decline actually starts. This is bearish headwind. Bearish headwind is shown as red color dot above the price candle. If a stock is displaying bearish headwind, we stand aside from go with flow long trade. Instead, if other signals are aligned, we may actually take a headwind short trade. Such headwind trades are explained in detail in Superior Profit Rulebook. This rulebook has three unambiguous checklists to decide when to take each of the standard superior profit trade types. Trend following go with flow, trend reversal, headwind, and exhaustion based bounce trade. As we can see in this chart, the stock indeed slowed down or moved back after the bearish headwind showed up. Can there be bullish headwind? Certainly. As you would expect, bullish headwind appears when the stock is in downtrend and the down move is losing momentum. Like all bullish signals in our system, bullish headwind appears in green color. We have all heard that trend lines seem to work on all charts at all times. Memory lines are intelligent and automatic support and resistant trend lines drawn from the past behavior of the chart. As they are formed by connecting past data points, we call them memory lines. The memory lines are constantly redrawn automatically based on how the price moves. Descending memory provides resistance and ascending memory provides support. If there is a descending memory above and close to the current price, we avoid taking long trades. In this case, the potential reward is not enough to risk our capital. On the other hand, if a descending memory line is broken, that may indicate that bulls are gaining power. If there is a low risk entry point, we may take a long trade at that time, provided that other signals also favor taking a long trade. This is an example of such a potential entry from a different symbol. We found it today using Sonar. ONGC, an oil and gas exploration company in India's National Stock Exchange, had a well-formed triangle between ascending and descending memory lines. Now it has broken out of that and it indeed provides a low risk entry point for the stock. Let's move to the middle panel with three bands of colors. Yes, you guessed it. Green is bullish, red is bearish, and yellow, when available, is neutral. But what are they? Together, we call it movement signal. It has three components. The topmost band is acceleration, middle one represents speed, and the bottom one calculates momentum. We initiate a go with flow long trade only when all three of them are bullish, that is green. And conversely, we take a go with flow short trade only when all three of them are bearish, that is red. Easy to read again. 
aren't they? Now we will look at the bottom panel. The color bars represent activity or volume. If activity color is green, it means price has gone up from last bar and red activity color means that price has come down. Some of you may like to infer the health of the current trade from the volume bars. That task is made simple here. If the bar is thin, it shows low activity. Thick lines are high activity. On top of that, if present, the colored dot on the bar represent various degrees of activity. Cyan dot represents very high level of activity. Green dot represents extreme high level of activity. On the lower side, magenta shows very low and red shows extreme low level of activity. We don't need to manually calculate how many thousands of shares have traded relative to past to see all that. The colors tell us the story. It makes decision making fast. It's time to go back to the top panel. Did you notice the dotted line superimposed with the price candles? This is not the stock's price or any average computation on stock's price. It shows how the stock is doing relative to broad market. We call it relative performance. Though it's superimposed with the price candles, relative performance has no scale. Only its direction of movement is important. It tilts up if the stock is going up faster than the broad market. Only then we like to initiate go with flow long trade. And we initiate go with flow short only if relative performance is tilting down. That is when the stock is underperforming the broad market. This adds yet another edge to our trade's favor. Did you think we forgot the candle color itself? We did not. We kept it for the end. This is traffic light. Green allows long, red allows short. As you would expect by now. We take long trade only if the stock is in uptrend and then we try to take it at the first candle that changes traffic light to green from red or yellow. Our stop will be just below recent low point. This allows for low risk entry. We take short trade only if the stock is in downtrend and then we like to take short at the very first candle that turns red. Stop loss level will be just above recent high point, again resulting in low risk trade. If you observe this chart now, you will see that using traffic light in this way lets us go long at the bottom of a wave and enter short at the top of a wave if the stock was in downtrend. This is buying low and selling high for swing trades, made simple for you. Well, we have covered all the signals on hop on template. You can learn about these and other superior profit tools in more detail in our book Trading Profitably Superior Profit Way. You may write to us for a free electronic copy of this book. When you do so, please include few lines on your trading background. We are interested to know what system or guideline you use in your trading. Our traders use Hopon template every day and profit from that. You may like to watch our trade analysis series of videos to see Hopon template in action in real trades. You have noticed that we take a go with flow trade only when all or most signals align in the trade's favor. This is why our trades are high probability trades. You have also observed how trading from value area, aligning with direction lines and taking the first green red traffic light lets us narrow stop loss. That is let us take low risk trades. 
When we combine them together, we get high probability and low risk swing trades. Hopon is a complete template for achieving that. And yet it's uncluttered, easy to read and unambiguous. Once you know the signals, you simply look at the colors and the lines and decide whether to go long, short or stand aside. You do that fast, very fast. When the stock is in uptrend, if the colors are all green, that is movement and traffic light are green and the lines are up that is relative performance and two direction lines are up take long when the stock is in downtrend if the same colors are all red and the lines are down take short can you do it in 10 seconds give yourself a few hop on charts to look at and in no time you will do it in less time than that more than 80% of the time. That is our experience of working with superior profit community of traders. In case you asked what to do with the other few charts where it takes more than 10 seconds. Our approach is to leave those to non-superior profit traders. We only trade the charts that pop out and scream for our attention. And we hop on to that without second guessing and our members share their trades within the community. That is the superior profit way of trading. Using simple rules to hop onto a trade, booking profit at predefined price levels and sharing within the community to help each other. I hope you found this video useful, trade profitably and I look forward to seeing you again.